hello friends welcome to my channel so today we would be looking into what are backpack files right so as usual the agenda would be brief understanding about backpack files and then a practical demo so first of all let us understand what are backpack files in microsoft sql server so these files are the zip files containing metadata and data both okay uh, they are basically compressed zip file uh, which contains the metadata and data uh, data of your database for which you have created this backpack files uh, they can be stored on Azure blob storage, local storage in on-premises and so on. They can be used while exporting database to another platform or archiving or as a backup to another location. So basically, uh, you know, back files are very useful uh, when you want to transfer a database, right? Uh, with other, other solutions like backup and restore and so on, right? Uh, this is, uh, back files can also be useful. Basically, uh, you know, very importantly, this back files, uh, back Pack files uh, can also be one of the solution in exporting uh, your data uh, onto an Azure onto a cloud environment. Okay, and in today's demo, we would uh, you know we would see that how to basically migrate your database from an on-premises location to your uh, cloud location. Okay, so yeah, uh, let's let's uh, do some action. Uh, so here I have two environments, right? JIT on-prem. So this is on my VM, okay? <clears throat> and then this is my cloud database. And in this, I have AdventureWorks 2012 database uh, for which I would be creating a backpack file and I would be showing you how to create a backpack file. And then at the same time, we would be importing uh, that backpack file to uh, our cloud environment, okay? So to create a backpack file, uh, basically you need to right click and go to the task and then uh, export click on then export data tire application okay so as soon as you will uh, click on that uh, the vi would start ui would start okay click on next and here uh, as as we already you know as i, I already told you that uh, you can store this on two different uh, uh, locations one is on the save local disk or if you want you can surely store it onto the uh, your azure storage account so for that you know you need to create uh, a storage account you need to connect to the storage account you need to create a container and so on and from there also you can actually import the uh, database uh, through backpack files okay so here we would be saving it onto our local disk uh, let me go to the local disk uh, location on C drive in databases. I would name it as Adventure Work 2012. Okay, and then save it. Okay, so backpack file extension would be automatically be generated. Go to the advanced. There is nothing much into this, but it will actually show you all the schemas. So if you want to exclude any of the schemas, you can do that. Here we are. Here we are going with all the schemas. Okay. Uh, press next that's it and uh, you know there is not not much configuration or anything like that uh, once you do this uh, click on the finish button and it will start exporting your data your metadata that is a schema and data both into your uh, backpack files this will take a while uh, i would pause the video here and then i would come back once this export finishes as the database uh, size was very small, you know, this was really, really, uh, you know, uh, quick enough. So you can see here operation is completed and you can see all the tables uh, and all the metadata has been actually transferred or uh, backpack file is created. Okay. So this is, this is the way uh, how to create a backpack files. Now uh, you can see here on the machine on this you know the path which we have given our backpack file is ready okay so now how to import that so now let us basically go to our cloud machine so you can see here this is my uh, cloud uh, uh, database uh, right click on the database and click on import data tire application here again the same ui would appear 
go to the next here again the same thing if you have stored your backpack file on your azure storage account then you need to connect that storage account and you need to uh, give a file reference but here we have created backpack file in our local uh, premises on premises so we would give the reference from there so uh, click on the back file backpack file you want to import and then after you select a file click next here this this step is very important guys you know if your database is small and whenever you are doing your practice just ensure that you know you change the addition of microsoft sql server a minimum data size you know so that uh, it doesn't uh, cost you much here if you are not connected currently i'm connected to my azure cloud environment so you know automatically it is showing me uh, the username and everything but if you are not then you might have to you know use this connect button and you will have to connect it okay so here instead of standard i'm making it basic so that it, it would not cost me much and then for service objective also for basic it is basic and if you want you can change the size of the database but i think for me uh, 2gb is more than enough so once this configuration is done click next and that's it this is also done when you will click finish it will start importing now as this is on a cloud database you know it is going to take much much uh, more uh, time so i would pause this video uh, after some time and then would come back once uh, this get finished uh, meantime you can see here uh, currently we don't have database right now backpack files uh, you know before i pause this video I, I would like to give some information backpack files are very very uh, good in a way uh, that you know they would currently for adventure works database there are no uh, you know compatibility issue but if you have the compatibility issue between the on premises and cloud if some of the features which are not available in cloud uh, then actually or maybe for for that matter any other issues then it will surely uh, you know uh, create an error and your backpack file would not great, uh, got uh, will get created uh, so for example if i would uh, tell you that if you have any uh, missing reference of a column or missing reference of a table in a view so actually at until that level you know backpack files basically uh, check it and then it will create right so if you have any missing column information in your view or on a query uh, any missing table uh, you have used in a view uh, right uh, in that case backpack file will not get get created it will actually provide you all the list of errors uh, you will have to resolve those errors each and every one and then you can again proceed so this is a very good way in uh, you know uh, way of uh, migrating your database to azure cloud uh, so that uh, you are you ensure that your uh, data and schema are uh, you know integrity is at the highest okay so let me pause this video guys and i would come back uh, once uh, this will get finished okay well now it is finished and uh, you know it took almost 20 minutes to uh, import this so now you can see here uh, basically while importing you know first it actually disable all the indexes so you can see here it's uh, you know the indexes are disabled and then after disabling indexes uh, processing all the tables and then again uh, re-enabling the indexes so this way uh, basically uh, it imports the, the data and everything and now if we uh, go back and refresh our cloud environment you can you should see the database there adventure works 2012 right and under that uh, you can see uh, all the tables and procedures and everything so let this get expanded as it is it's, it's in cloud environment basically uh, you know why it might have taken much time because we have uh, taken a very basic plan so that might be uh, the issue uh, so you can see here all tables are actually uh, migrated and uh, all views also migrated or and all stored procedures as well migrated right so this is basically uh, you know uh, the one of the world i don't say but this is one of the way or one of the good way to migrate your database from on-premises uh, to the azure environment or uh, 
to any other location so this can be uh, you know the replacement of backup and restore hope guys you have understood uh, what is backpack files and uh, you enjoyed this video if you uh, then please uh, you know press a like button and uh, subscribe to my channel uh, that's it for today guys uh, meet you next time with good next topic till then bye and take care